The subject of children at play has been a favorite of men with cameras probably since the invention of the first square box with a shutter. Children had to stand still in those days, and they've been a favorite subject ever since in still pictures, in motion pictures, in magazines and toothpaste commercials. Our subject here is children, too. And our subject is schoolhouses. For the fact remains that almost 25% of our population attend school. And as population grows and communities expand, new schools are built. In most cases, the most substantial building for a few miles around. This particular school is the new South Salem Elementary School, located just outside Salem, Virginia. It's a rather unusual school, a kind of school in the round. Modern, efficient, and attractive. This area, called Common Space, because it is shared by the three adjacent classrooms, acts as part corridor and part working area for all three classes. This is a practical feature that makes this school design particularly sensible. But this area has even more to offer. A plus feature that cannot be seen at all. It is also a fallout shelter designed into the building, an integral part of it, and all above ground. This common space extends all around the building accessible, usable, as it's being used here. This is not an example school in the sense that it was a pilot study by the government to test the feasibility of building schools with shelters. No, not at all. Nor is it the first school with this plus feature. Actually, it was done without fanfare the result of a strong conviction by the district superintendent of schools and accepted by the surrounding community and the architect who took advantage of the plans and technical materials furnished by the Office of Civil Defense in working out the school fallout shelter design. How was it done? The architect came up with this design, a circular building with 21 classrooms around the circumference with the library, gymnasium, and offices in the middle core. Common space, common to three classrooms, here. Air conditioning for the whole school is housed in the circular section that extends above the building. The technique for designing fallout shelter space into a building is called slanting. Basically, it means taking advantage of the space that can be found in almost all structures and making a few adjustments in windows, the location of doors, or the reinforcing of a wall or ceiling to give fallout protection. In the South Salem School, it amounted to adding extra thickness only to the ceiling of this area. But this is what they had to start with, the outside wall of the building and this inner wall between classrooms and common space. Together, they already formed a combination vertical shield that could cut down radiation from the outside. From this direction, even with doors and windows in the outside and inside walls. So, to make this space an adequate shelter, the six-inch concrete slab ceiling was enough to cut down radiation from the roof, and the shield was completed. Here are the costs. The total cost of the circular school, $437,400. This amounts to $11.60 per square foot. Of that $11.60, only $0.16 cents per square foot was for the plus feature, fallout shelter. The most important figure, how many students can it protect? The 450 now in the school and more. What can you do? The Office of Civil Defense asks you as a citizen, you as a school board member, 
and you as a parent to be aware of the way fallout protection can be added to school buildings as it is in new construction of buildings all over the country using slanting techniques when they are designed and planned. Schools should first be designed as practical, efficient centers for learning. This school is a good example of that. But we urge you to see to it that they also have the added plus as this school does for as many reasons as there are children. <laughs>